Bonjour everyone. It's about an hour or so after dawn at Manoir Le Par, and I thought I would do a little garden forage. So I have here my panier and my folding knife, my opinel. And so let's see what we can find. It's always exciting when we start getting apples in the autumn. Go! Oh. The apple is very heavy, ready to be picked. We'll try them later. We think they are eating apples. They look like them. So we'll see you later. What else do we have on the ground? So these, we can lock them over the hedge for the deer. They love eating apples. And I think these are Bramley apples. So Bramley apples are cooking apples and you can make delicious starts and apple sauce. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this one was ready. And look at the difference. I think these, just the color of the skin, it's usually a skin that, um, that tells you they are more edible apples like this, but these are more like cooking apples, green and red. They're beautiful. There's loads of them. So, oh look, so this one has been eaten. I wonder what, by oh, it could have been eaten by hares or deers. I leave Carl to pick up the rest later. <laughs> One of his little jobs. He loved them. Something else I want to show you, and it reminds me of my childhood. And these are clover flowers. Let's see, I'm gonna pick a few and let's see what we can do with them. Now let's see what we have in our front garden. Ah, oh, we've got mint, it has grown. I thought my mint didn't take it because it has been so dry, but look. Smells woody, reminds me of roast of lamb. Oh, and some mint. Right, into our side garden. Look at our beautiful walnut tree. You can see all the, the clumps of Walnut, you have two by two or threes. This one is an old walnut tree, so it gives really large walnuts. And I think we're going to have plenty over Christmas. It's going to be really lovely. So let's see now on the ground if we have any windfalls, because things are starting to fall on the ground now.
So what happens is they fall on the ground with their big shell and the shell opens up, look. So the shell opens up and there you have the walnut. The whole lawn here is filled, it's covered with apple mint, actually covered. All these is mint, apple mint. Uh, next apple tree so these we know that they are good apples to eat because Carl has been eating some I'm going to pick a few from the branches and the thing to do is to pick those that have been heated by the Sun so they have been ripening so on the outside in is the best place to pick them Now let's see what else we can find. <gasps> Mushrooms! chickens these are beautiful chickens the three at the back are laying so we get three eggs per day but this is a chicken he's retired he no longer lays any eggs Aww. this is a little friend Aww. so now let's see if we got any eggs this morning Look at this. And you can tell they're fresh. There's a feather on it. Thank you, little chickens. When I was in there, I noticed we still have some blackbirds. Let's have a look at this. It's still good to pick. Look how big they are. So let's pick a few. Mmm, <laughs> beautiful for jam. So now let's go home and see what we can do with a beautiful bounty that we forage from our gardens. Look at that beautiful bounty. Look at the colors and the textures and... So these are our little eggs. 
look at this. Oh, they're so cute. So, it's funny, you have a little one, a small one, a medium one, and a big one. Just like the three bears. Because we have an, an older hen, so this one gives us big eggs. And then we have a younger hen, hen. this one started before this one. They arrived at the same time, the, the last two hens, but this one started laying first, and this one later. This is why different sizes of eggs. So you may think, Marianne, when you have all these eggs, how do you know which eggs has been laid first or later? Well, what we do every day is write the date on each egg. So today's date is 30th and when September. So I write like this, 30 slash nine. Because the fresher eggs we use for fried eggs, for instance, but the older eggs for hard boiled. And what we do is we put them here in this beautiful basket laid with hay. And this is our eggs. So next, mushrooms. I pick two where we have plenty in the fields and in our gardens. So I am not an expert on mushrooms and you have to be very careful, extremely careful. Some can be poisonous, they can make you sick but some even can kill you. So they, they are, they look beautiful and everything like that, but I won't cook them. What you can do in France actually, is go to the chemist with your mushrooms and ask the chemist if they are edible or comestible. Est-ce que ces champignons sont comestibles ou non? So they will have a look and tell us then and then, yay or nay. So as I don't have a chemist at hand right now, uh, I put them aside. <laughs> Right, so next are uh, apples. Oh, just look at these, but the size of them, oh, they're beautiful. We have these, oh, we've got plenty of them. Oh, they're all mixed. So these are the Bramleys, and we know that because the skin is a little bit waxy. And these are the eating apples, and the skin is quite rough. But for now, the Bramley apples, I can cook them in um, make um, apple sauce or we call it a compote and we put a little bit of sugar in front and we have it for dessert or make a beautiful apple tart and if you want to know how to make a french apple tart i made a video for you and these are eating apples well we're just eating them as they are and these we will also eat them like these Oh, they smell lovely. They smell a little bit of mint because we have mint in the basket. Let's have a look at what they look like inside. Oh, they smell lovely. I love this skin. It's very yellow. It reminds me of a golden delicious. So let's have a look. I sampled a little bit. Mm. This is not like any taste from apples from the supermarket. This one is almost got a hint of lemon. Really nice, ready to eat. They won't last long. <laughs> These remind me of English variety, Cox's Pippin. So let's have a look what it tastes like. Uh -huh. So there's a difference in it. You can see this one is greener and this one is yellow. So you could think that because the skin is green, the inside is more green. And if the skin is yellow, the inside is more yellow. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. So let's have a look on the taste. Mm, I prefer, I prefer the smell of this. Less sweet, I think. Let's see. This apple is definitely very much like that Cox's Pippin, old style. Eating apple in France, we call them les pommes croquantes, plein de jus, really full of juices and taste. And they were picked early this morning with the dew still on them. What more sh could we want? Now let's get the blackberries. I picked plenty of blackberries this year. I made already a few preserves, but what you can make with it, the size, the size of them, look at this. What you can make is an apple and blackberry pie. Let me know in the comments below if you have already made them and if you love them. 
All right, just put on it. Mmm. 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 Full of flavor. They melt in the mouth. Oh, delicious. How you are, my darling? Can't love them too. Now, what else have we got? Oh, I picked those flowers because they reminded me when I was a child, when I was a little girl, and we used to, to take a little glass, like a shot glass or something, and put them in the water, and we used to give them to, to mom. Et maman, on accueille des fleurs pour toi. Oh, apple mint. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, a little bit lemony though. My favorite mint, this mint. Oh, now this smells of mint. Mmm, what I love, my favorite, is to make a nice cup of tea with this. A few of these leaves, fresh, freshly picked, in, um, in a cup full of boiling water. And I add a little bit of runny honey. Oh, this is absolutely delicious. Also, what is nice, instead of parsley, you put mint over your, your salads or even in your salsas. It adds a bit of piquant. Oh, I love this. My thyme. I love thyme. Mmm. Oh, you know, I have made some some um, pear tarts and under the, um, the pear I put you know, a couple, just a small branch or two and I cover that with a guimauve, with, um, with meringue and then I put it in the oven to make it brown a little bit and when you cut through the tart and through the pear you have a little twig of thyme Beautiful. And lastly, we have our walnuts. They need to dry out for a couple of weeks. Let's try one to see what they like inside. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's really strong. Oh. Ah. Oh. Look at this. I get too excited. You can have them in cookies or I can make bread as well with fresh walnut. We'll just eat them like that. So at the moment, it is soft, it's white, and it's a little bit moist. So yes, you have to dry them for two weeks before you can actually use them and eat them. So here you are. This is a little bounty from our garden this morning. Please. Give us some comments below this video and if you love this video you'll enjoy this one.